Getting the Juno nomination, <laughs> is it still fun, though? I mean, I, when you, is that still like, for you, you've done it, you've been there, you've, you've hosted them. It's a thing for, is it still? I've, I've been now nominated 19 times, and I've only lost 11. <laughs> No, it, it, it really is a thrill because, I mean, really the awards are important. They're, they're important because it's not only celebrating Canadian music, but it's also celebrating a lot of um, jobs in this country. Yeah. There's, there was a lot of jobs that went missing, you know, with the advent of downloading and sort of this broad sweeping thing that happened, you mm -hmm. know, just financially to major labels and artists and writers. It hit everybody hard, but, you know, you just have to make adjustments. So, this creates a buzz. I mean, it's been proven, like the Grammys the other night, Lionel Richie went up like 192% in downloads. So all these people, like the Junos this year would be very music driven. I think there's only three on-air awards. Mm. Everything, out is, everything else is given out the night before an award show. And there's, there's like 80 or 90 awards, so it's huge. Um, but it, it is, it's just important for the growth of a, of a massive a business in this country. I mean, you think of some of the major artists that are global, um, I mean, I could name so many people, but for a while there, it was women. It was Sarah McLaughlin and Shania Twain and Alanis Morissette, Celine Dion. They were responsible for selling like 650 million records wow. in a 10-year span. All women Canadian. All Canadian women. Wow. And they were just, I don't know what it is about this country and music. I mean, listening to Michael, and I don't know what rock I've been under, but I just am blown away by, you know, the entire mm -hmm. band, the sound that you guys make. And I'm very familiar with Russell. Russell and I worked together for 14 years, mm -hmm. but that's just, I just sat there like really pissed off. <laughs> I just don't need this shit, Michael. <laughs> but it is, there's just something about this country. It, it has long been uh, an amazing place for songwriters. I don't know if it's the vastness. I mean, we have what, the second largest country by area in the mm -hmm. world and 39 million people. And there's so many songwriters here. Yeah. And it started a long time ago, you know, with Cohen and Neil Young and Joni Mitchell and all these people that really carved a swath that I've been following and I'm sure Michael's been following and a host of others.